You may be asking yourself, why this ministry? What makes it worthwhile for both me and 400 people like me to be here on ship and for you to invest in this project? The Logos Hope project is about changing the generators on board the ship. The ship is 40 years old and the generators are 40 years old, getting tired. And the old generators are using a fuel that's quite expensive and with the new generators we hope that we can use a fuel that's considerably cheaper, contributing to, uh, to a huge financial savings in the future. Although this is a technical replacement, there is so much more to the power-up project. The generator affects many aspects of ship life from day-to-day -day basis that will keep the ministry alive. It enables us to sail from port to port, country to country. Psalm 96 says this, Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. It's my privilege to be on ship here and to serve God's glory. It's what motivates me to be here and to get up in the morning to serve God's glory in my working, in my eating, in my sleeping, playing, in my resting. In whatever I do, I want to serve God and His glory. The generator provides energy for the lights in the cabin and everywhere else on board the ship. It enables the chef to cook the meals for the 400 people who live on board, provides the energy to make the ice creams in the eye cafe, operate the dishwasher and the laundry machine to wash our clothes. This is good and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. It's wonderful to walk around the ship on an average day and to see people browsing through Bibles in the book fair or through other Christian literature that we have down there or to see crew members chatting with people in the International Cafe or to see so many people lined up in our gangways from so many different faiths and backgrounds all waiting to come onto the ship or to see teams going on land to serve in schools, in prisons, in hospitals, wherever. It's our privilege to be here and to serve the nations of the earth. As you can see, it is not just about an engine part. It is the livelihood of the ministry itself. The new generators will enable us to continue the ministry God has called us to do, to reach the unreached peoples of the world.